Hi, it's Thomas, and uh, I'm prepping my drums. Look, stainless steel, pink color tones, beautiful. And here is my Hot Rod Red kit. Boom. I'm changing bass drum hits. Here we are. All right, that'll do it. Look how pretty. Drum. This is an edge drum. This is a 14 by six and a half edge drum with the, the color tone heads on it. Seventy-seven. This is my snom. If you don't know what a snom is, it's a tom tom. This is a 14 by 14 inch tom tom, but it has snares on the bottom. So it's a snare and a tom, hence the term snom. It sounds like this beefy and low. But I want a P77 on this too. This is a color tone, red color tone um, P77. And I just want to go for white coated because the white coating adds more muffling. It's a little drier. Uh, some may say a little warmer. I don't know. But um, I also want to see some contrast between the head and the finish of the drum. You know, I put these on a while ago. Brand new at the time. And they look awesome. It's a really interesting look. These uh, color tone heads. Love them. They sound great. But like I said, I wanted more muffling. And a little more warmth. And here's my other P77. Look at that. Check out this drum on the inside. Ooh, yes. Maple mahogany. Beautiful shells. Well, it should go under the counter hoop. Here I can hang it. And here I can mount it on floor tone legs. All my... Um, the uh, snare drums have a tom mount on them like this, so if I decide to put them somewhere on a stand or on my rack somewhere to mix things up a little bit, I can do that. And you can of course have your drums retrofit with uh, tom mounts like that, no problem. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? <laughs> I don't want it to feel like a snare, I want it to feel like a flop tom tom. By the way, for all of those uh, drummers out there who don't have the cool rotating little lazy Susan to change heads, you can use a drum throne for that. Duh. And what I like about that is that it completely deadens the bottom head. You can focus on rebound. When I put it on the throne, I can completely isolate the batter head. And all I focus on is not sound, but rebound. Floppy. Feels good. Let's see what it sounds like. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I wanted. That 70s, thuddy, you know, low endy. That's the sound. Here's my snow. Done. Next.
What does this snom do, you ask? And it does this too. So, best of both worlds. This is my 12 inch snare drum, 12 by 4. I'm switching uh, the color tone head to a clear emperor. I want a really nice, bright kind of crack when I use it as a snare. Of course, I don't want my fingerprints on there. <sighs> Better. Manual tweakage. Uh-oh, forgot this one. So this is what I do. My left hi-hat here, my hi-hat stand, is basically another support uh, leg for the rack. Here I have this sidebar that holds my four rata toms and the gong drum. And this separate sidebar is also my pedal magazine. So I have my, on this version of my kit, I have a double pedal on the kick drum. Then I have the hi-hat mounted to the rack. Also this crasher comes from the rack. And I mount the pedal for the crasher here. And then here on this uh, lip, I mount um, a foot snare that also comes, hangs from the rack. And this whole side rack is attached to the main rack, which is fairly large. Also attached to the main rack is my right hi-hat mount. So this hi-hat stand on the right mounts to this tube that connects to the main rack and then I have this little you know uh, perpendicular tube here that is a cowbell holder it's very solid it's a little overkill for cowbell but it's sure is solid alrighty so here's number four yep Rata Toms let's go I like these you can uh, do some melodic stuff with these
No drooping allowed. Here we are. Rotatom. You know what's cool about these? They're tunable drums. You can tune them to pitches and play real melodic stuff on them. Also cool is these are four tom-toms basically, concert tom-toms. Just really long. Yes, all six inch diameter, but they you know have very distinct different pitches. So it's like having four tom-toms, tunable tom-toms. People often ask me, why don't you have more tom-toms? Tom-toms are boring, that's why. So I have usually just one rack tom and a floor tom, maybe. Or a, uh, a snare that converts to a tom and a snom. And I have a gong drum anyway, so that's really nice and low for all my low end needs. And I like these because they're different. Think outside the box, people, okay? Go, gong drum. Is that it? Yes, it is. Goodbye. And hello. Clear P3, that's my favorite for both bass drums and gong drums. And uh, it just never disappoints, it always sounds awesome. And it goes here. That's the one. Okay, here we go. It's gonna sound awesome. Just wait till you hear this puppy. It's uh, the big Bertha of my drum kit. This is a 20 by 16 gong drum. And technically, it's not a gong drum. Technically, it's a concert bass drum. Because a gong drum has a drum head that is larger than the diameter of the drum, usually by two inches. Hashtag thud boner. That's what it sounds like. Check it out. I didn't even touch it yet. Yes. Boom. Here we go. Yep. When you mic this thing up, it sounds evil. Pure evil. It's got an unbelievable amount of low end in the sort of 50 to 100 hertz range. And uh, it's got plenty of attack because it's tuned low and the head is kind of floppy. Uh, but it has a very different character from a kick drum. And I like that. So I can mix it with kind of kick drum sounds. And I love that kind of tribal sounding combo of low gong drum sounds and kick drum sounds. It's cool. I like it. So what I like to do next is hang all the small symbols on my kick. All the you know little bells and whistles and uh, small splashes and hi hats. I work kind of from the snare outward. There it is. Left hi hat, the Thomas Lang Mindel fast hat as a main hi hat because it's cool and it's fast. Why is it fast? Because he has these vents around the edge of the cymbal that lets air escape. So very quickly, hence fast hat. So one goes here and then I have an identical one over here. Why? Because I play a lot of patterns between my left foot and my right hand and I want them to sound the same. So I have two identical hi-hats. Yeah, that's why. And uh, why do I play patterns between my right hand and my left foot? You may ask. Isn't that complicated? Yes, it is more complicated, but it also allows me to play stuff with my left hand at the same time. And I still have like a 60 note pattern or 30 second note pattern or whatever it is going on between my hi-hats. So.
came together. More toys. I have a hi-hat top, 10-inch Meinl Bison's hi-hat top, which I shall put on a Thomas Lang 10-inch filter china. Yeah, it's a weird combo because it's a really fat, it's a, it's a hi-hat symbol with uh, china. I like it. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it's now about five hours later or so, and uh, I set the kit up, and this is what it looks like right now. It pretty. Here we are. I've got a 16 inch, 16 by 14 floor tom, 14 by 14 snob, uh, right hi hat, the double pedal on the kick drum, here's the slave, left hi hat, crasher, and uh, TSS drum, all MCD, chain drive, Schnurr. Another Schnur, Schnur, and I've got my vinyl symbols, 19 inch, MB10 uh, China, here's a 20 inch hand hammered uh, crash from the uh, Bison series, here's the Thomas Lang Super Stack, there's another one over there, uh, I remember the Thomas Lang Fast Hats, another one here, Bison's um, 19 inch crash, uh, 20 inch Bison's Dry Ride, 8 inch Custom Bells, Vinyl Cowbell, Boom, there it is. It's a pretty kit, have a look around. It's a large rack, usually I use a lot more drums for this kit, but uh, I think that's enough. So here you are, that's my 12 inch, 12 by 4 snare. And uh, this is my TSS drum and my toys down here. And there it is. Anyways, here's the studio. And uh, here are my other drums. I've been running through uh, some new songs of mine for the past few hours and now I'm pooped and I want to go eat and maybe watch a movie. Chill. That's what I'm going to do. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this weird little tour. See you later. Mm -hmm.